cocoa curries for breakfast <laughs> an excellent breakfast they it's a late breakfast. <laughs> it is, it's about half 11, we're having a relaxed morning this morning. <laughs> I looked up which ones in Osaka have the vegetarian curry because not all of them do. And I found this one, I found three of them actually. This one didn't have a sign in the window outside like the one I've been to before. So I went in and said, um, vegetarian curry ga arimasuka, is there vegetarian curry? And she brought out this menu, a special menu, <laughs> and it's got all the vegetarian curries on it. So I think I've ordered more successfully than last time I came to Coca Curry when I just got sauce and rice with nothing in it. It's vegetarian curry with vegetables. Oh wow, there's a whole choice. This is amazing. And it says at the top, does not contain animal derived ingredients. So there's curry with vegetables and egg part, tomato and asparagus, egg part, spinach and ripe tomato. Spinach, mushroom, okra, and yam, and mushroom. This is really good. I'm going to go for the tomato and asparagus. I like the look of that. Here's the normal menu. It's just on the table. It's actually a whole book, and it's got English in as well as Japanese, and it's got pictures of everything. There's actually quite a lot of choice and there's some sides and things. And the special thing about cocoa curry is you can really customize your curry. You can choose the type of sauce you want. There's beef and hashed beef or just the regular one. And then you can choose how much rice you want. The standard is 300 grams. Or you can have a slightly smaller one or you can go all the way up to 900 grams of rice. <laughs> that would be a big meal. Then this is your spice level, and when they order you, they ask you which one you want. Phil's going for number three, which is what he's had before. He said it was actually pretty spicy. Yeah, and you can have up to ten. Yeah, you're not allowed to have over level five unless you've already tried the level five. It actually is pretty spicy, unlike a lot of Japanese food. And the next one is the mildness level. If you don't want a spicy curry, you can have more of a sweet curry instead. It's quite a lot. Of food is spicy here. Do you think? Yeah, not crazy. But like, when they say spicy, you can taste it, whereas you can't. Uh, really I was. Spicy is like. Got a, a corner of spicy, but really. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, if you say spicy, you can definitely taste it. Mm. It's not. I, I like quite spicy things, but it's not crazy. But mm. I would be worried about going for five. I think you should do it. It's breakfast. <laughs> When we go to Tokyo, we're meeting up with our friend who won a chili eating contest. So I want her to try the really strong cocoa curry and see if she can handle it. She probably can. She did win the contest. I'm very proud of her. And finally on the menu, we've got all the toppings here. So you can have eggs, spring onion, sweet corn, tuna. Um, that's garlic bits, probably not for breakfast for us. <laughs> and there's some extra toppings down here. I was worried they didn't have the cheese anymore, but they just don't have a picture of it. I've ordered cheese in mine. What else is on there? Ah, this is gonna show up how slow I am at reading. <laughs> it's really frustrating me actually. Ebi asai, maybe something shrimp. Arigatou gozaimasu. I don't know if this is a new thing at Coco Curry. They've got a sign on the wall saying they now do naan breads. Naan breads. There's a garlic naan, a cheese and garlic naan, and a plain naan. We just gone for the plain one for breakfast. It's actually bigger than I thought. There's my hand for scale. <laughs> it smells really good. It's a, a big and unique breakfast. <laughs> Here's my veggie curry with the asparagus and tomato. It actually is pretty big. I haven't seen many small Japanese portions yet. And here's Phil's. Uh, what sort of meat is yours? Uh, it's pork. Pork katsu. And just plain, you didn't get any toppings. No, I had the cheese before and I found it a bit too much. Oh yeah, I like the cheese though. I like the texture. <laughs> it was a bit thick maybe. A bit too much. You can kind of see the cheese in mine in there. Looks good. And the nice fluffy rice. Look at it. <laughs> mm. 
this is really good. Mine is the standard level, it does have a little bit of spice. It's not actually hot or spicy, but you can tell it's got spice in it. The cheese is actually really stringy, <laughs> which it tastes really good and it's nice texture, it makes it quite hard to eat nicely. <laughs> On the table we've got this sauce soup. I've seen just generic sauce in quite a few places. <laughs> this, which I can't read, Toby something. And there's also these pickles. I've just noticed they've got a big poster on the wall for the vegetarian curry. <laughs> Didn't see that when I came in. <laughs> that was great, it really was special, rich and tasty. I'm really full now, I probably could have gone for the smaller rice actually. <laughs> but what a great start to the day, breakfast of kings. Today I'm having a look round Ame Mura. It's short for America Mura, which means American village. Yep, I think this is America Mura. We've got the Stars and Stripes and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> 